Hey everyone, welcome back to What They Don't Tell You. I'm back home in Michigan for my mom's 55th birthday. Thank you. Can you believe you're 55? No. no. I'm I'm 22. My older brother's 33 and she's 55. It's like a lucky year. You know it is my lucky year by the way. Yeah. It's my lucky year. I found that out. I had an astrology reading. Mom, I want to start this podcast off. I was going to do a whole episode of 55 things you learned when you were before you were 55, but what's I would just, have loved that. But that, what's could have just, been a, that could have been like a weekly show. But what it. is like the top five actual like biggest pieces of advice you could give anyone? I think the biggest thing is staying true to yourself and true to your Morals. own beliefs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Number two. Like, like, don't try to, no, I'm, I'm still on this one. Don't try to be somebody that you're not to please somebody else. Okay. Always be who you are. Okay. Number two. And you know what? It might take a long time to find out who you are, Yeah. but you know what? You'll find it. Cause you're there somewhere. <laughs> you'll, you'll figure it out. Number two. Yeah. Don't ever steal anything. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's idea, somebody's thought Ooh. a pack of gum, you know, right down Ooh. the line. Okay. Don't ever, don't yeah. ever take someone's idea and make it your own. Or, okay, that's cool. Yeah, don't, just don't be a shitty person. Well, okay. okay, number three. Oh, gosh. I, I want to say be happy with where you are, but that contradicts the people that are you that want to get further in life. You know, like right this very second, I'm happy where I am mm-hmm. and I, I don't have any intention. <laughs> I almost said personal growth. You know what I'm saying? You don't have any intent of growing, but I yeah, do. like I don't, I don't need to live in a mansion. You know that? Oh, I'm I do. Saying. This is this is <laughs> rainbow. Spot. Where? There's a rainbow. No, that's Spanish spit. He mom, 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 look past. <laughs> <laughs> not at the window, <laughs> past the window. I, that's I how can... you know she does not. She's not trying to do personal growth because she's only looking at what's in front of her. <laughs> Not was further along down the in road. In my defense, this right here is in my line of uh, eyesight. Okay. And when I even <laughs> leaned, all I saw was Skylar's spit. He literally hawked a loogie from, tried to see how far he could go from the hot tub up here. And he made it. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> I was just going to push okay. my sleeves up. Okay. <laughs> it's a little hot in here. <laughs> what wow. else have you learned in your life? Lessons that I've learned in my life. Oh my God. Don't this lie. Don't, don't ever fucking lie. Good one. You know what? Even the littlest smidge of a lie. I get in so much is gonna trouble. come back and haunt your ass. I get in so much trouble because I tell the truth so much. That's one thing I I, I okay, I'll do little stupid white lies. Yeah, if like, you're like trying to surprise, surprise somebody, someone, yeah, you know, exactly. whatever. But yeah, don't wait, where's Dusty? Dude, move. <laughs> no, we can't. Wait, you gotta call him. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna put air tags on our dogs. Well, just a few few of the rambunctious ones anyways don't ever lie to anybody yeah um that's no so now number four yeah know your worth knowing your worth you know what and don't and then so is this number five now this is four don't ever let anybody treat you um less than what you no i want to say badly in a way that makes you feel less than you want you want somebody that's going to make you feel more than yes well, you know, some people only have the ability to make you feel well, on the level. I don't know, but some people like go a, above and beyond to make you feel more than. Yeah, you know? it's a, it's if he wanted to, he would type of thing. Yeah, exactly. Or if he knew how, always help someone in need. Like if you see somebody mm. that can't reach something on the shelf at the grocery store, I don't care Kindness. if they're a stranger. You know, yeah, be kind, pay it forward. You know, so to speak. Ooh. And not only Starbucks lines, but. In actions. What's one thing they don't tell you about being a mom? What's one thing? That's too broad. I, there's a million things. No one tells you. you what's figure what's out one on thing? Own. What's one thing? About being a mom? Yeah. <laughs> it never goes away. I you know, it's, say, a, it's I, a. I think they say that. It's a lifetime job. Yeah. You're always on an emotional roller coaster because with with all diff- I have you know obviously three kids but you're all on a different like mental capacity I, I guess I don't know if that makes sense but no one's worse than the other in that respect it's just like you have your times where you're up and down up and down up and, down, and like you, you know but you're always ready. up and that's exhausting that is exhausting I am always up mom. yeah yeah you're talking about my high frequency of a life I live um who is someone that you miss that you're no longer as close with 
even if it's a friend, a family member. Tina and Cindy. Really? Yeah. Tina. Mm-hmm. Wow. School friend and then um, Cindy was like, basically I grew up with Cindy. Nappy taps. Cindy. Yeah. Um, mine would be probably Brooke. You guys should really like have a chat. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, my like long time best friend in Michigan. There was like a situation where I was definitely like in the wrong, but at the same time, she was completely telling me, you know, it was like that whole like, you know, go, go or do it. Like, I don't care. And then like they turned out to care. But like I I did something. And then like immediately after she texted me like, I, I love you and blah, blah, blah. And thank you so much. And, and then like it immediately changed and we basically do not talk anymore. But I, I would have totally let her do what I did. But I got, and I like to treat people how I want to be treated, and I would have done that. So there was just a misunderstanding there. And yeah, you need to fix it. Yeah, we need to, well, we, it's definitely a both of us thing. It's both of us are, I guess, hurt. It's not like one way or the other. So her, um, which you guys have been asking me about her, and I guess we're just, we've, we've kind of been in this scenario before, I guess, mm-hmm. and we've been fine. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a lifelong thing. Yeah, she's been like my best friend. It's since a lifer. I was, like, five years old. Yeah. Um, and then we have my sister. Oh yeah. My sister. We still like communicate, but we're not close. So everyone wants to talk about my so close. What do you think about my so close? Are you serious right now? Well, I guess if you got it, flaunt it, but be classy about it. Okay. Love it. Yeah. Also, maybe add the point that you are completely on board and you have actually wanted me to do it since before I even did it. True story. Yeah, that's right. And I've actually taken some of your photos. A lot of them. We're about to take some I more. Mean, it's like, I guess, you know, where, where you're at, where we're at in the world and, you know. What? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, how, like, you're not a Disney Channel kid. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How... That, I guess, is just your path, you know? (laughs) That's funny. Did Kelly think I was going to marry my ex? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You want to elaborate at all? Nope. Okay. Um, Girl talk, sex, drugs, and alcohol. What do you want to speak about any of those? Well, I guess my one tip would be when you're in love with somebody, it really changes the game. And to make sure that um, you're not selfish. Cute, in, that's in, good. In your love. In the bed. <laughs> yeah. Selfish, don't be selfish in the bed. Uh, Share some. What do you want to talk about with drugs? Drugs. Uh, Would you like to say what you dabble in here and there? My- We've talked about it on the podcast. My chocolates? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't live without my edibles. <laughs> but she won't smoke. Yeah, no, no. I don't get it. No, I think- No, I don't want to smell like that. From my personal experience, oh, Oh. And my like friends, when they smoke, <clears throat> like they're high for like a second, I swear. And then like they're not, and they're not like zooted, but you, it's like a different level of high because you do edibles. Okay, but here's the thing. If you're taking, if you're taking any type of drug, weed, whatever, um, and you're just like always, even if it's sativa and you're on the downside of that, it, how it makes you feel like uh, kind of just like, like like not wanting to do anything, like just chill, relax. And then eventually your house starts like to get, you know, you don't even take out the trash, you know, that kind of thing. Like switch mm-hmm. it up because I found on um, the Kiva bars, um, the churro is amazing. It's a hundred percent THC. No way. I think it's a hundred milligrams per bar. I don't do that much, but I do enough to where I can function. I feel like um, I have a little bit more clarity. You probably do like 30 grams to 40 grams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But only like maybe twice a day. Sometimes, sometimes more. When you're home, I do a little bit more than that. People are probably going to say. No, but anyways, figure out out what works for you, you know. But it makes me um, more productive. I want to talk about to you when you think you're going to take a tolerance break. (laughs) What the frick? There's something big in here. Did you? Did you? I saw it from the outside, though. I don't think it's it is. It's on the outside. Do you want to oh, but wait, no. Can we go back to like 
edibles, how like I go through different phases of like, you know, I've got, I've got the, oh, like, and then I get like super talky Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then I get paranoid and then I have a ton of energy, but it never like bums me out and makes me sad. You know, you know, I'm never like Mm -mm. down and out in Beverly Hills or anything. When are you going to take a tolerance break? For what? Oh, I do every once in a while. For how many days? Mm, One. You know, you're supposed to do like two weeks minimum, I think, of tolerance break. (laughs) Weed and edibles, like there's statistics that they actually make you dumb. You know that, right? Um, No, I've never seen those statistics. (laughs) Um, How about alcohol? What What is your take on alcohol nowadays? No, I can't believe the things that uh yeah that it made me do and say and yeah it was pretty bad and I dude and you she stuck by me this whole like time you know what I'm saying I think if I oh I don't know if I was you I'd probably never speak to me again you know what I'm saying so so what like you basically quit hard alcohol oh yeah and definitely I've been having a little wine, a little beer now and then, and I know you don't like it, but nope. I'm an adult, so, um, and you know what? But it took you a really long time to even get to that point. You yeah. You just like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, even the other day, she said that she she found like a, a Jack and Honey that she used to drink, yeah. what, every other night? Yeah. For how many years? Yeah. How many years? A lot. How many? 20? No. 10? No, no. I, mean, I, I don't know. I would have to think about that. 10. Maybe. 10 years every other night. She poured it out because she found like something in the very back cleaning it out. And what'd you say about that? Like I smelled it first and it smelled like poison, like straight up poison. Yeah. It almost made her like gag. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So she doesn't really, thank God it's taken me, it was basically taken 12 years, I think, because it, to, to about 10 years is when you kind of stopped having it as much, started having a little bit more of the edibles, got you off the hard out. Whoa. Home. Yeah, that was a lot. So now, yeah, I'm, I'm in a better place because of it for sure. Yeah. Brittany asks about me not spending money anymore. What's your take on how much money I've basically spent even just March? <clears throat> Astronomical. <laughs> I bought an Aventador last month. I had my birthday, so my birthday party, like, dinner was, like, 8K. The club was, like, 9K. Like, I I think I got, I mean, just, like, a lot. I spent a lot. Mm-hmm. So what is your advice to me? Yeah, I definitely feel like you need to slow down a smidge. <laughs> Jesus. Just a smidge, okay? Just a smidge. Yeah. She want, someone wants to talk about me quitting rap. I think you should go back to it. She likes my like fancy music video and well okay okay um yeah it was cute and it was a great start but I think that if you did a little bit of mix of rap You're and... cool but the money come my eye too because there's a big difference between you yeah, and my side, side dude. dude he be all up in between them thighs he's you get you side I do oh you get my titties in your face he's, he's getting, getting side boob <laughs> so you want she wants me to start rapping again maybe maybe oh my gosh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam wants because to know. Because you know what? That's why how this whole thing started after, like, mm-hmm. you started, you know, we did the dance thing. Mm-hmm. Not the dance thing, but that was your career for a while. Mm-hmm. That's why it ended up transitioning into all these other things is because mm-hmm. of Angie. All right. Last two questions. Which was a cover by Sharia J. Mm-hmm. Um, how much do I annoy you? Uh, Not as much as you used to. Like, seriously. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's because I'm like less less drinking. I'm I'm less anxious. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So you still call me like 800 times a day. I think knowing that you're not drinking anymore, <clears throat> I find that I don't really need to like always almost call to see if there's like alcohol in your in your voice. Do you know who's a good tester of that? Who me, could always I'm the know? best. Casey. No, me. I just couldn't ever even tell you. I knew. oh, but he tells me, so maybe that's why. No. That's even deep. even when I knew you were drinking, you were trying to hide it for a while. I would never admit to knowing it. I'm like, oh, in my head, if she knows that I know she's just going to do it freely, she's going to do it more. If her trying to hide it, she won't be able to not 
be nonchalant about it. Last question that I think that this is a funny memory in quarantine. Do you remember someone wants to know how I became good at twerking? Do you remember during quarantine? Oh, yes. Wait, the girl. Yeah, na na Nasty Nas or something. Yeah. And then I had to film you doing that. Yeah. Oh, my God. You worked literally, when I would say you worked your butt off, but you that's how you got your butt. Yeah. Like, I would twerk. I would twerk all the time. Oh, yeah. I do you remember that? Like, I would, like, every day I would be, like, learning and, like, twerking. And then she guested you or something. Um, too, on her live she, stream. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was so that's cute. how I learned how to twerk was um, during quarantine. I mean, I've known how to twerk forever. Yeah, because of Miley Cyrus. And then Stevie um, yeah. Stevie was always trying to get that clap. clap. Yeah, <laughs> make it clap. And you were so little and you tried to follow yeah, along like, with her. <laughs> um, I learned how to twerk, basically, like actually twerk during quarantine. I would go on Instagram Live, my favorite like booty girl. And she would do basically classes and I would learn. So that I've been up. looking at the dogs this whole time, just in case you know. Okay, don't know. That's the end of this interview, mom. Podcast. I keep saying interview. Thanks for making my birthday so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Skylar. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. I will catch you guys on Tuesday with a new podcast. And again, go watch the rest of the episodes from March. If you missed them, we had Sky Cats, we had Baby Ariel, we had Gigi Papa Savas. And I think there was an alone episode with me at some point, maybe. Can't remember. Can't really remember. But I will see you guys. Um, happy April. Make sure you guys rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and add us to your Spotify playlist. And see you next time.